Medication to help with weight loss is not a new concept, but right now, a drug originally intended for diabetics to lower blood sugar is trending all over social media, and people are taking it to lose weight. So we wanted to talk to an expert. Dr. Christopher Hamwe from Florida Plastic Surgery is here to explain all the attention on Ozempic. Great to see you. Great to see you as well. I'm really glad we're talking about this because you really can't go through a day without seeing it pop up somewhere with somebody asking questions or taking digs on it. Yeah. How did Ozempic start getting used for weight loss? Right. Well, so Ozempic's really interesting. It was originally FDA approved for diabetics, and it was a medication that was used to control blood sugar. But what they found was that these patients that were on it were losing a significant amount of weight. And so when they started studying this, um, they realized that this was safe and effective for weight loss. And so the company that manufactured it did a series of clinical studies, found that it was safe and effective, and then it was FDA approved for weight loss. Like many things, it hit Hollywood first, or at least Hollywood started talking about it first. If you've been on social media, you've seen, uh, let's see, Elon Musk admitted I did Ozempic and I lost some weight. Uh, Chelsea Handler had some funny story about I didn't even know I was on it. No comment there. I don't know if I believe that. <laughs> Jimmy Kimmel referenced it at the Oscars. Yeah. So I, I feel like if Hollywood is doing it, obviously they're working with top doctors. Are we not having to be worried about the health and safety concerns of it? No, I think that health and safety concerns are always an important aspect. And this is a medication. It's prescribed by doctors. Mm -hmm. I think it's part of a process where you're monitored by a doctor. And it's not a quick fix. This is not the sort of thing that you do to lose five pounds for a school reunion. This right. is part of like a multimodality treatment plan for people who are overweight. It's FDA approved for patients who have a BMI of 30 or 27 and some other health problem like um, high blood pressure or diabetes. So if you're taking it and you don't have a BMI of that, it's off-label. And that being said, it is being done, but again, it needs to be under strict supervision of a, of a physician. Okay, so that said, I like when you use the word multimodal approach. You obviously are in the field of plastic surgery. Right. Making people look and feel their best is what you do. If someone is overweight and they want to solve that problem and then look better post, how do you think Ozempic can work into what you also do with skin tightening and, and fat removal? Right, so I mean, I think that Ozempic and weight loss is part of a much larger conversation. Mm -hmm. But in my field, what we find is that not everybody is a candidate for the things that I do. And so it's really nice to have other treatments that we can offer patients who may have failed with the traditional things that are out there. And so now that we have this, it's pretty exciting. Um, in plastic surgery, there are situations where patients would either get a better result or have a safer procedure if they got down to a healthier weight. And so that's where it's really effective for us and where I'm finding that um, I'm enjoying having it available. And listen, if, if someone wants to, to work with you and you're like, well, I really need you to lose 30 pounds first, we all know that's not easy. Right. You know, that's a really frustrating yeah. thing to be told. So if this is something that can help people achieve that, I would think as a physician, it's really a wonderful tool. You're absolutely right. And I'll tell you, like, we have been relying on the same medications and the same paradigms in regards to weight loss for so long that, um, having this is, is really a, a game changer. I think you referenced that up to 70% of the population is either overweight or obese or fits into that category. So there's a really large portion of the population that can benefit from something like this, or at least starting the conversation with their doctor about what it means to lose weight in terms of not only looking better, but really being healthier. Whole body. Exactly. Yeah, your systems. There's a myriad of health problems that are associated with being overweight. Right. And so I think bringing this conversation into the forefront is also a powerful thing as well. Yeah, that's a whole other segment, all the things that uh, right. oh, excess weight can do to your health. Let's uh, address one of the other fun social media things we keep seeing, Ozempic face. <laughs> she must be on Ozempic. Her face is saggy and, and hollow. When we lose a lot of weight, obviously it affects the tone in our skin. How can plastic surgery then address that? Right, so you're absolutely right. Ozempic face is sort of a thing that is caught on. It's kind of a catchy phrase. It's not related to the medication itself, but just what happens when you lose weight. How as fat shrinks, sometimes the skin shrinks with it, sometimes it doesn't, maybe it takes a little bit longer. And so as people lose weight, if skin becomes more lax or a little bit looser, there are things out there that plastic surgery can help with. There are facelifts and tummy tucks and, and tucks and that sort of thing. But I think that what we're seeing here in regards to the physical changes associated with weight loss 
it really just speaks to the effectiveness perhaps of the medication and if there are other things that are important in regards to achieving sort of like the holistic sort of look or physique you're looking for right we've got ways to help you <laughs> we can fix that as i like right. to say all right doctor very good to see you again uh thank you for addressing something that is such a hot topic out there right now if you have any questions about uh anything plastic surgery related and improving your look you can find dr Hamry by going to floridaplasticsurgery.com